and Kat and Eva, and thank you so much for tuning into Holo Holo, your top entertainment and lifestyle show for Asian Pacific Americans. Um, Armand Barani is back with his second series of the relevant Hollywood panel. Joining him are several of the producers, Eric Stone, Emily Guglielmo, <laughs> and Armand Barani. Yeah. <laughs> I had to say uh, Guglielmo, yeah. the <laughs> Italian. <Yeah. laughs> thank you so much for coming back. Thank you. Thank you. Um, no, no congratulations, because the very first event that you guys put together yes. was a huge success, mm -hmm. sold out, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, tell yeah. me a little bit more about that event. <laughs> uh, you want to take it? It did. It, it sold out, <laughs> and we actually had to like add extra seats. Yeah. It was phenomenal. It was a very more intimate mm -hmm. situation, right. atmosphere. So now we're getting even bigger. It's at the Globe downtown oh, LA. Wow. <laughs> so it's super big. We're ha it's three times the size. Yeah. So Ooh. we're hoping for a good turnout. And it's almost already sold out, right? Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> almost. Good. Yeah, our first event was headlined by a. Uh, Lauren Schuler Donner, who produced the Deadpool movie, which right. came out a few weeks ago and is yeah, killing it at the box office. It so. is, yeah, make, breaking records, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> All over. So and, uh, we can say we know her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you talked to her since Deadpool? Uh, her, her assistant. Uh, so, I see. Still counts. Still counts. <laughs> the day we talked to her on our cell phone. Yeah. 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 That was fun. Yeah. So um, the second series is pretty much the same thing, but even bigger. So for people that want to be screenwriters, casting directors, mm -hmm. producers, Actors, or actors, anything. anything. Now, tell me a little bit more about the upcoming event. Uh, the lineup has Tommy Harper, who's the executive producer of the last Star Wars movie, uh, <laughs> Force Awakens. Yeah. Um, we have a producer from Suicide Squad, which has come out in August. Yes. Uh, Revenant producer, James Scott Stoppel. Right. Really huge lineup. Um, the Walking Dead casting director, mm -hmm. Go Hard, because right, I can't go pronounce her name. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, she's going to be there. Try. She's going to be there. Yeah. So, but uh, Eric was uh, great with getting the location. Yeah. Um, so the Globe Theater, yeah. <laughs> downtown LA. Eric, tell me a little bit more about uh, your role this, in this event. Uh, basically, I'm the guy in LA. Uh -huh. So they come to me and they're like, Eric, help us out. With the so. East Coast heads. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So, <laughs> so I, I got like, I'm like really tight with all the venues out here in uh -huh. LA. So I make a call, get them the venue. Right. I'm good to go. Yeah. So. <laughs> he does more than that, but yeah, that's what, yeah. You're being a little humble, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> but he does phenomenal with getting venues at a really good deal and, uh -huh. and working with the owners, right. which is really key when you're doing events. Mm -hmm. And for the first time ever, we have an after party. Oh, I saw uh, that. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the reserve, yes. uh, downtown LA, a few blocks down from the Globe. Yeah, so you mm -hmm. can actually walk yeah. there after mm -hmm. the event. In the same vicinity. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they gave exactly. me like, what was it, two days to find <laughs> an after party spot because yeah. the press release was going out. I was like, we did. You gave you me two. And I did it in one day and I was just You're like. You are the LA yeah. guy. Uh, I'm the LA guy. Yeah. We have uh, DJ Amy Pham and her oh, brother Min right. Pham. Really good DJ, so nice. check them out when you go. Yeah. Yeah. After doing the first one, which was um, this past October, right? Yes. What, was, what were some of the challenges that you faced? Uh, well, <laughs> or were there any? We had to go with a bigger lineup for a bigger audience and you know, a much broader audience too so I mean the challenge is always securing yeah yeah uh, people. securing yeah. And, and making sure they actually like show up and it's for sure yeah. um, all the nitty-gritty details I think is one thing that's key when you're doing super yeah. big events mm -hmm. it's one thing for them to say they're coming but the day of is like oh who's oh, actually gonna really coming? who's actually gonna show <laughs> yeah. up so mm -hmm. yeah yeah Emily how, how do you guys get all of these I mean Phenomenal people, people that worked <clears throat> on Birdman, The Revenant, Suicide okay. Squad, straight out of Compton. That's, that's all Erman. <laughs> uh -huh. He's the man that gets the speakers. Well, right. <laughs> I'm the one that catches up with them and, mm -hmm. and, and emails them throughout the times, but right. I'm, I'm mainly like the logistics person behind mm -hmm. the scenes getting all the other details in order. Um, Erman is the guy that really grabs the speakers. Yeah. So he is the, like, core backbone, oh. I suppose. Oh. I'm just the person that does all the other random, many little details. <laughs> <laughs> and if it wasn't for Eric, yeah. we wouldn't have a venue, so this... Two venues. Yeah, we have two, two venues. Two yeah. venues. Yeah, in yeah. such a short amount of yes, time. Mm -hmm. Now, is there a theme at this panel? You know, what's really cool about us is that uh, even though it's called The Relevant, so we talk about relevant topics, right. uh, it's broad in terms of who's coming out. Mm -hmm. Filmmakers, screenwriters, right. uh, actors too, so anyone who's in just in, interested in entertainment in general. Yeah, it's, it's anyone that wants to get into entertainment or is just curious yeah. about learning more about it, right? right. Mm -hmm. What Was there like a demand um, more or like Jeez. a trending topic uh, you <laughs> that know what? you guys noticed? Mm, 
Uh, this time around, we added the digital space uh -huh. uh, for with Social the film. Media, yeah, with the film and TV producers, we added someone in the, in the digital space. So, because yeah. that's where it's at nowadays. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Eric, I saw you thinking. I like you were about to well, say something. Well, I would, <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, no, nah, I'll save it. I'll save it. So it's okay. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, You're gonna down. keep it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, of course. Keep, keep a little serious? mystery. Uh -huh. I would say we add like more diversity yeah. right. when it comes mm -hmm. into because it's so broad when you talk right. about the entertainment. And it's yeah. and I'm glad to say we have more <coughs> female speakers this nice. time around. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Emily, what were you Well, it's interesting. Think? It's hard to get females to come uh -huh. out and speak. It, it, the majority is males, because I know it's still um, a dominant male industry. Right, right. So to have females, I think, is key, because we're still a minority. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> females partially rule the world, so. <laughs> yeah. I ain't we want that more <laughs> 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 This time, he's like, I'm really going to keep doing <laughs> yeah. <it> yeah. <laughs> Now, when we go, what do we expect? Like, do I just sit there and listen to the panels, or can I ask questions? Do you want to take this? Uh, it's definitely a Q&A uh -huh. forum. Right. So at the end, there's five, 10 minutes where we can ask the audience to okay. ask questions. Okay. But mainly, it is where the moderator talks mm -hmm. and then they ask and answer about the topic uh -huh. but it is definitely a Q&A so yeah. people will get to ask questions yeah. and then after the after party is more yeah. of a networking so you can actually like mingle and truly network yeah. with the speakers and mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone else that comes. Yeah, ask all your questions if there's any more after. <laughs> right? yeah. But during yeah. the panel, you uh -huh. can walk around. It's not like a, a quiet library right, setting. Right. Yeah. Okay. You can go to the bar, get a drink, mingle, talk, and it's very big, so it's not as intimate as our last one, mm -hmm. where it's more coveted space. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you have to sit down and yeah. you have to listen. It's a little more relaxed. Yeah. Our right? speakers, are, we're informal. very fortunate that they are open themselves up to talking to yeah. attendees in between panels. So it's not oh, like they're going nice. to speak and go. Right, they're going right. to stick around they actually and actually stay. Yeah, and then the they'll be at the after yeah. party. You can too. actually converse yeah. with the speakers, so it's more personal. Right. Now, for more info and for tickets, where do we go? Uh, you can visit therelevantseries.com, which is T H E R E L E V E N T series.com. Uh -huh. uh, Twitter, yeah. the, uh, the relevant underscore LA, yeah. and Instagram, the underscore relevance. Yeah, and none of this would be possible without your sponsors, Yeah, we have right? really good sponsors. We have <laughs> Script Noted, which is a cloud-based uh, uh, produc production development app. Right. Uh, then we have Flamfest, uh, 100 Luxury Water, uh, Network ISA, really cool people. Yeah. 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 Nice. They're really helping me with cross so, nice. yeah. Thank you guys always for stopping by and telling us yes, more about this event and inviting everyone that's watching. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank Thank you. We have to see them there. <laughs> Again, the Hollywood Relevant event <laughs> happens April 8th. All the information is on your screen. We'll be back.